Good day. I am Engineer Winder Alminar and I will discuss about plain and solid mensuration. Our subject is plain and solid mensuration. Now basically this subject is divided into two parts. The first part is about plain figures and the second part is about solid figures. Now the under the first part uh, when we talked about plain and plain figures uh, basically, we will discuss about two-dimensional mathematical objects. And when we talk about two-dimensional mathematical objects, basically these are objects that can be drawn only in a flat surface or in a plane. That's why they are called plane figures. Now, under this part, under the first part, we will discuss about uh, polygons. And under polygons, we have several types. This includes uh, triangles, quadrilaterals, uh, pentagon, hexagon, epigon, and other types of polygons. Okay. Also, in the first part, we will discuss about circles. And after circles, we'll discuss about other types of uh, plane figures that will include star polygon, um, elliptical section, parabolic section, composite plane figures, and uh, irregular shaped plane figures. Now, the highlights of our discussion in the first part will be about uh, the computation of perimeter and area and that will be the first part now, after the first part we go to the second part and that is about solids now when we talk about solids we refer actually to three-dimensional mathematical objects three-dimensional because this time we add another dimension to our discussion and that is thickness okay previously when we talk about plane figures we only discuss about uh, figures that have length and width but this time when we talk about solids we'll discuss about we will add another dimension and that will be thickness now under under the second part under solids we will discuss again different types of solids that will include uh, rectangular solid cube prism cylinder pyramid cone frustum prismatoid and other types of uh, solids now in the second part, when we talk about solids, the highlight of our discussion there will be about the computation of volume and surface area. And surface area may be either lateral area or total surface area. Okay? Find the volume and the lateral area of A. Truncated right square prism whose base edge is 4 feet and whose lateral edges measure 6 feet, 7 feet, 9 feet, and 10 feet. The formula for volume is V is equal to B times L, where B is equal to the area of the right section or area of the base, and L is equal to L1 plus L2, so on so forth over N, where N is the number of sides in its base. We apply the formula into V is equal to 4 square times 6 plus 7 plus 9 plus 10 over 4 which is equal to 16 times 8. The answer is 128 cubic feet. For the lateral surface area, the lateral surface area is equal to half times 6 plus 7 times 4 plus half 7 plus 9 times 4 plus half times 9 plus 10 times 4 plus half 10 plus 6 times 4, which is equal to 26 plus 32 plus 38 plus 32. The answer is 128 square feet. 